I'll take you around. I'll take you up to it. But this used to be four times bigger than this, but they want to destroy it all to build luxury housing. But interestingly enough, um, there used to be um, all writing on the walls, like from the soldiers and stuff from World War II. In the wall, they used to be engravings, like hammers and sickles, like communist stuff and German stuff. But that, this was all for Polish soldiers. And I'll show you there. Uh, I'll get to it anymore. But they all used to be sitting, leaning up against these walls, and there used to be graffiti, like scratched into the bricks. <laughs> So all here on the left, all on the right is all Polish. All bodies, loads of them. They were in the hospital. Is there any been. kind of a? I'm wondering if they had any kind of attempt to line them up at all. If they thought that probably it was probably did. Probably military. They did. Let's have a look here. Look. So there's, oh, I see, there's civilians here, British civilians and Polish soldiers. So this stopped after World War II ended? Yeah, but say for instance, um, when the Russians took over Eastern Europe, a lot of Polish soldiers were here already from the 1939, but some were here long after the war. So the ones that had mental health issues probably were still alive in the 1980s. Oh, they, were, they were here from World War II to the 1980s. If anyone has any information as to who buried, as to where, I think, oh, it looks like O-L-I-V-E-S, or as to where... Olives, what, what does it say? Olives buried site. Si burial is, site is? Is other information, please email Valerie. Valerie, and what's the email? Summerrain57 Summer at hotmail.com as to where, yeah, Olive's burial site is. Yeah. 